guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dawson Rafael. Before I jump into today's video, um, where's my, oh, I found it, okay. <laughs> Couldn't find my dad for a second, but here's my dad. You guys can see he's a little, little puppy, my dad. Um, if you guys are interested in losing weight or anything, um, for entertainment, trying to lose weight, subscribe to my dad's channel. The link will be down in my description. Oh, mad, one meal a day. I recommend it. I recommend his channel, not because he's my dad and I love him, but he's actually really funny. He's a clown and stuff. But, yeah. Um, so with medication, um, I was talking to my friend today, and, like, we were talking about how, like, with her medication, with, like, mental illnesses and stuff, and I'm really sorry I always talk about this stuff, and, but it's really just something I feel like needs to be talked about and stuff. And so she, talk, she was talking about medication and stuff, how all this and all that, and I was like, I feel like people, like, medication is to help you get better i understand that but like especially things with like mental health and stuff like med medication is like i feel like is just an escape to for who you are like people don't want to deal with it like doctors are like oh you have this here's a prescription to go take it turns that frown right upside down so ignore it all ignore all the feelings you got but really uh-uh like I've, like, done research before about, like, medication for, like, um, projects and stuff, and even, like, medications, um, in general, like, with, um, like, mental illnesses and stuff, um, with medications and stuff, it has, like, equal found risk with, like, suicide and stuff, and I really don't want to be on the topic of suicide or anything, but, like, prescription, uh, medications, like, let's say you have, like, a medication for, um, birth control or, um, acne and, like, side effects could be depression. Um, and that could, the, you could overdose on that medication and, like, that, like, would turn your, like, mental from, like, happiness to sad. Because, like, that symptom from that medicine is, like, making you, like, turn around like you're depressed and stuff. Which isn't really a good thing, but I was just like, I just feel like that should be heard and stuff. And like with um, being prescribed medication for um, your mental health, I feel like doctors just throw that at you, you because obviously they like figure out your stuff, but they just throw that at you. So here's that medication, take that pill. Oh, you're all better. But like the thing is, I was talking to a friend and like stuff, and basically I feel like with medicine, like. You don't know who you really are after you take that medicine for a long period of time. Yeah, you're, like, happier and stuff, but it's, like, you're not you at the same time. Like, it's like a mask. Like, I've said before, like, we should not, like, have to, like, put on an act and, like, have to be all happy because, you know, people don't want to be around sad, whoopy people. Like, yeah, we all fake who we are in society, like, honestly. But, yeah, there's those days people will just be, like upset and stuff and like that's not something you really want to do and I feel like with medication um it's just it's a higher risk of changing your point and stuff like it can make you happy to like it being a symptom of medication from you being happy to oh, oh my god you're overdosing or like you're prescribed on this uh on this medicine and, like, you're, you know who you are, and then, like, when you stop taking it, you're all, like, upset again, and that makes a lot of sense, because you prescribe that medicine, supposed to make you happy, but at the same time, you stop taking it, you're, like, oh, this is who I actually am, maybe I like it that way, because, you know, being, like, not having to, like, have that medicine to keep you, like, coped and stuff, like, what's the point, and, I just believe medicine's good for, like, when you're sick and stuff, but with, like, mental illnesses and stuff, like, there's pros and cons with medicine, like, the cons, uh, the pros are, like, when you're sick, like, you got the flu or something, you could take some, like, ibuprofen or whatever you're prescribed, and then, yeah, boom, you're all good again, or, like, you, you get, like, on birth control, or, like, you get on some, like, acne, prescribed acne and stuff, and, like, you get depressed and stuff, like, people are going to want to, like, isolate themselves and change. And it's just, like, but to my friend who is on that uh, medication, um, I just want you to say, or if you're anybody who's on that medication for anything, um, mainly mental illnesses, 
uh, make sure, like, I just want you to know, you are still you. It's just don't let that medicine control who you are. Don't let it, don't let it control you, mainly. Like, don't stop taking it. Like, as I say, I don't, like, I'm really not for that stuff, but don't stop taking it. Because, like, once you're happy, you're really gonna, like, you're gonna see the good things in life. And you're gonna notice stuff and notice all the good things. But when you stop taking it, you're gonna be like you're probably gonna be much worse, and gonna realize some stuff. But if you are on medicine, please take it. I know, I know. I'm saying like oh blah blah blah. It's not good and stuff. But you know they. I just hate how doctors and therapists and stuff they find stuff about you and they just throw a prescription at you and then boom you're ignoring all your feelings. And I. Th- like, you should feel all feelings besides happiness because life has its up and downs. And honestly, you're you're still you no matter what. Always try to stay positive either way. Like, life's got its rainy days, but there's them rainbows, you know. If you guys know what this means, like, imagination. Yeah, but... If, that's it for today's video. If you guys any got questions, comments, concerns, you know, leave those in the comments box below. If you guys are trying to lose weight, hey, Dad. This is my dad. Go subscribe to his channel. The old madman, one meal a day. And he's really good with entertainment and everything, so. But like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, <clears throat> forget y'all. Um, And I'll see y'all tomorrow.